during my shower this morning. I say, yo, do you guys, what, what's your take on this, bro? Do you compliment random women? Do you guys compliment random women? You know what I mean? And how do you compliment a woman? Sometimes you could just stare at a broad. I used to stare broads down, scaring them and shit. They ain't know if they wanted, if I wanted their purse or their number, right? Or you like a girl's picture. What's the point of complimenting a woman, bro? I find right now in this day and age, bro, even though women want to be complimented, there's a way to do it where you don't sound like the next guy. Check this out. Next time a man calls me beautiful, I'm not going to be like, oh, thank you. I'm just going to say yes. He's going to be like, you're beautiful. I think you're so beautiful. Yes. Now leave me the fuck alone. You see? Next time you broad, tell a broad she's beautiful, you like her hair. She doesn't care. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I got a fat ass. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, you like my dress? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is the oxymoron in this shit. Bras want to be complimented, but when you compliment them, what happens? You look sir, you look thirsty. You look thirsty, bro. And again, shout out to ARC, Alan Roger Curry. I think he came up with this phrase, um, no free attention. This kind of goes hand in hand with simp bugs, bro. Like, you complimenting a woman for what? Why are you taking the broad out? Spending so much money on her, and you don't even know if she likes you. Most women are determining if they like you based on where you take them. I told you the story already, bro. I told you the story. I dated abroad. Dated this chick. I knew for a fact she was into me. And this was abroad I worked with. Numerous colleagues told me she was into me. I saw how she was looking at me, bro. I knew, I knew, I knew, right? Boom. But I was doing my own thing. You know what I mean? I was do, I, I had a rotation, so I was like, I didn't really have time. But she worked with me, so I said, you know, let me just put her on ice. Finally got in the, got around to taking the broad out. I finally got around to taking the broad out. And um, she was playing games. She was playing games. Now, now, I wasn't Mr. Octopus. I wasn't thirsty, but I knew that we went out. We went to a Brazilian spot. And I wanted to try. I'd never been there. She recommended the spot. What does that mean? She recommended the spot. So that basically means that she'd been there two, three times already. Okay, fine. I didn't get laid the first night. Now, I don't always close a deal on the first night, guys. Let's not get it twisted. However, I, my numbers are up there. You know what I mean? I really I close deals. Because at the end of the day, for me, I always, if I take a broad out, um, there's a strong probability I'm going to smash. And I'm interested. And I like to eat different foods. So I can get... Um, culture right if you i've never been to a brazilian restaurant so i went there so anyway i didn't compliment the broad but she we kind of got into it because i wasn't complimenting her so let me get this straight bro you want me to compliment you you want me to do all this shit for you and i'm not getting laid because you acting brand new even though i knew you wanted to be with me what's that about bro do you guys compliment random women and what's what's your take on it there's a way to compliment a woman, bro, without looking thirsty. You know what I'm saying? You could look at her. You know what I mean? You could, but I think when you compliment a woman, especially in this day and age, man, with all their validation, with all these simps outside, I think it's detrimental to you, bro. I don't think it's a good idea. Riley says, not anymore. I try not to, unless I see something interesting. But she's always getting compliments. That's a big fat, bro. That's a big fat. So it's like, for instance, if you... If, if you're dating a woman, right, you're interacting with a woman and she has, let's say she has green eyes, right? She, she has very beautiful eyes. Please do not compliment this broad on her eyes, bro. Why is that, A.V.? Because everybody's complimenting her on her fucking eyes. What makes you stand out if she's got nice hair? Don't compliment her on her big curly hair, her mane, because everybody's complimenting her on that. You guys have to understand something, man. The more you compliment a woman, the more you're feeding into her ego, right? The ego that you guys continuously claim about, the ego that you guys continuously try to figure out based on the content that you listen to. And again, I'm not talking to my audience. I'm talking to the world. If this applies to you, then listen up. Stop complimenting women with no purpose and no intention. Also, when you compliment a woman too easily, that just basically knows that your bar is low. So let me get this straight. 
if you picking her up, you're going out on a date with her. She's dressing up. She's wearing nice shoes. She's wearing makeup. She smells good. You're complimenting her for something that she should be doing. It's like if you have children, if you have nieces and nephews. Hey, Uncle AV, I got I got straight A's on my on my report card. Good job, kid. Go play in traffic. You're supposed to get straight A's. You're supposed to go to school. You're supposed to cook for your for your kids. You're supposed to cook for your man. So why would I compliment you for doing something that you're already doing? Make sure you guys compliment a woman who's doing above and beyond. Okay. If she put, cooks a particular meal that you like, well, that's how you compliment a woman, bro. She cooked it well. Oh, damn, baby, you threw your foot in this one. That's a compliment. Now, I'm not saying you should never compliment a woman, but make sure she earns that compliment. Because you got to incentivize the woman to continue to do the things that you want her to do. Right? So if you give her an assignment, you give her a task, you give her a to-do list, and she passes and does the to-do list perfectly, um... You give her a compliment. You give her a small compliment, but you incentivize her. You incentivize her by realizing, recognizing her work that she put in, but telling her there's always going to be room for improvement. Okay. Blackjack says, if if I even speak to a woman, it's a compliment. Bam. Blackjack says, if I speak to a woman, it's a compliment. That's a fact, bro. I said this yesterday. You don't deserve a gift. I'm a gift. Now, I keep talking to you guys, telling you, y'all. Yeah, yeah, man of the prize, man of kings. You better make sure you can define and you are doing something to, to, to be congruent with the fact that you want to be called a king, okay? If you're just doing all this silly shit and you're not putting in the work, you're not grinding, you don't have anything to offer anyone, you are not a king, sir, okay? So that leads to another question I got for you guys, bro. Again, simp buck, simp and serve. Men are weak, bro, in relationships, bro. Men are weak. And I want I have a question for you guys. Do you know your girl's password? Let it marinate. Do you know your girl's password? Now you heard me say this before. Yo, don't look through the broad's phone. Don't look through the broad's phone. But, however, if she's starting to behave in a certain way, do you know your girl's password? Should you look through your girl's phone if you feel something? Now, I'm not talking about intuition. I'm not talking about you had this fucking dream and shit. Oh, my God, I felt like you were cheating on me. No. But do you know your girl's password? Does your girl let you look through her phone? I decided to ask this question based off this clip. Check this out. So I had a situation. A bro called me and shit. And she... Her man broke up with her because she had some shit in her phone, right? She had some shit in her phone and she left it in the car. So she said, babe, can you go get my phone for me? He was like, she was, he was like, all right. So she slipped, obviously. Mm -hmm. So that nigga never looked through the broad's phone. But one day that nigga said, fuck it, let me look through the phone. This nigga saw some shit he wasn't supposed to see. Mm -hmm. Now. Her friends told her if he was mature, he wouldn't be looking through her phone. Mm -hmm. Let me repeat that, ladies. Mm -hmm. If I, if you was mature, you wouldn't be looking through your girl's phone. But if he didn't look through his girl's phone, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have saw all those eggplants on her forehead. So my question is, <laughs> eggplants on the forehead. How many? So my Where question is... <laughs> Do you know your girl's password, bro? <laughs> so to tie in the story, to recap the story, basically in a nutshell, bro, this dude never looked at the girl's phone, whether he was too bored, uh, too busy, or he was just, you know, he trusts his broad. Fine. All right, my G. One day, the broad, she was tired because they live in an apartment. They live on, like, the third floor and shit. She was like, babe, can you get my phone? She forgot she was wrecked. She was drunk. And the dude looked through the broad's phone, man. Coming to find out that he saw so many dick pics, random dick pics from beta male orbiters, friends, quote unquote, on her phone, bro. Then her team, her friends, her jealous friends said to her, bro, but if he, but if AV, this didn't happen to me, but if he was mature, if he was mature, he wouldn't be looking through your phone. Bitch, this isn't the 80s. You need to catch a dick. No. These broads 
are telling your girl that, yo, if you mature, bro, you're not supposed to look through the broad's phone. So I ask you guys, help me out, bro. Do you know your girl's password to her phone? Do you know her girl's password to your phone? RPA says, stop simping. Female validation. Misha Mac, good morning, sweetheart. Misha Mac, I appreciate you, baby. Yeah, all the way in Canada. Grand Rise, we talking about Misha Mac. Now that you're here, lady in the, in, in the, in the chat. Does your man know your password to your phone? Let's go. Misha Mac, help me. RPA says, simping won't stop until men realize their value. It stems from low self-esteem. That's a big fact, bro. Jesus. RPA also says, hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. Who said that? Joe Rogan, I believe. Joe Rogan, I believe. Black, Black Jack says, yeah, bro. The dude looked at the broad's phone. He saw numerous dick pics that were not his. Should you be looking through her phone? And do you know her password, bro? Do you know her password? Again, I said this the other day. If you got that face recognition and shit, my G. And I'm asleep. I'm snoring. This broad is taking the phone. And she's trying to get my face recognition to open up my shit, my G. My girl doesn't know. Okay, first things first, I'm single. But my the girls, the people, the, the bitches that I fuck with don't know my password to my phone, bro. Why? It's my phone. Now, some of them give me quote unquote access to their phone. Others don't. And I don't even ask. Because again, I always say I'm a realist, right? I don't say every girl cheats, but I know that girls can cheat better because they have help. And everyone, I don't put past nothing, no past nobody, okay? Black Jack says, yes, but she got my suit. This is hilarious, though. Boom. That's a good one. That's a good one. If you got the phone, yo, listen, bro. If it works for you, my G, it works for you. But yeah, bro, this bro slipped and all her friends told her, yo, if he was, if AV was mature, he wouldn't be looking through your phone anyway. But bitch, if I didn't look through your phone, if I didn't look through your phone, I wouldn't have saw the eggplants, my G. What's wrong with you guys? You guys are simps. Bringing in the groceries. You dudes keep bringing in the groceries to these broads, thinking you smart. You guys think you listen to a couple of red pill videos and you think you know it all. You're not going to fall for the banana and the tailpipe? You guys think that you're not going to fall for the banana and the tailpipe because the broad says she loves you, banging you, banging you out. And you think you guys know what's going on. You're never going to know what's going on, bro. This is why, again, I encourage you guys to continue to grind, continue to do your thing. In the event something occurs, you can bounce back and ghost her ass, okay? Misha Mack says her man knows her password to her phone. Good for you, Misha Mack. I respect that, bro. I respect that. He knows your phone and his, and his password is fine. However, and this isn't to Misha Mack, this is to Misha Mack, but we already know what these broads are telling all these other girls, bro. Bitch, this isn't the 80s. You need to catch a dick. No! Bitch, this isn't the 80s. You need to catch a dick. You dudes don't understand how many circles women are running around you, bro. You guys are too busy chasing ass. And this is why guys get finessed. And this is why guys get finessed. You dudes don't understand that the broads have ability to run circles around you niggas and you guys continue to simp and serve these broads why help me blackjack says she was a closet goblin absolutely bro red pill awareness says they be on them phones bro them dick pics be on them phone now, i already told you um i used to send dick pics outside bro doubt i used to send dick pics uh, I don't do that anymore because it's pointless. Not because I'm ashamed, but it's just like, yo, my G, chill. You know what I mean? Like, you want to see a dick pic seen in 3D, bitch. You know what I mean? These bitches want to catch a dick. Bitch, this isn't the 80s. You need to catch a dick. No! Let's go. So, that's what I'm talking about. So, we're going to lead up to that. So, now the broad saw all... Now the broad got caught out there. You're supposed to be on your grind. You're supposed to be on your purpose. If I'm too busy, I don't have time to look through her phone. Do you guys schedule your hookups, though? If you were abroad, you got a rotation. You on your grind. You on your purpose. You claiming you a king. Do you schedule your hookups? 
Do you schedule your sex sessions with your broads? Do you schedule your sex sessions? Check this out. I'm busy trying to get my work out in. I'm busy trying to figure out how to make more money. All these things that you could benefit from. So when we, if I'm in a real, if I'm in a relationship, I want it to be as efficient as possible. I want us to schedule our time together. I want us to schedule sex, sex sessions together. I bet. So on Tuesday nights, Tuesday nights, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's anal night at, at the, at the, um, at AV headquarters. It's anal night, Tuesday night. Friday is, is BJ Friday, blowjob Fridays, Friday mornings, Friday mornings, BJ Fridays on, on Friday mornings. And, um, and on Saturdays, backshot Saturday, back, backshot Saturday. We schedule that because now we know what you're here for. We're not wasting no time. I want a woman that's going to respect my time and understand how necessary it is to maintain the lifestyle I continue to provide for her. Okay. Today, Wednesday, you do the math. You do the math, bro. If I had a little pep in my step, you're AV hype this morning. You already know. Tuesday nights is anal night. Do you guys schedule your hookups, bro? Do you schedule your hookups? Because, yo, listen, my G, if I'm on my purpose, I'm on my grind, I don't have time to look through the bro's phone, okay? I don't have to blow you out. Now, I said this yesterday, the other day. I said, yo. AV working for free, AV working for me, putting in that grind. I don't have time to blow these bitches' backs out. No doubt, I don't. And it's going to be some collateral damage. However, when I do have time, when I do take, uh, you know, a little assistance. Hey, boom, peep game. This is how you know you old, bro. You got the the medicine, the medicine um thing, the pill, the pill thing. I got the L-arginine in here. I got the vitamin D. The milk thistle, take this shit in the morning, my G. If I want to get hype, I got to schedule it to see when I'm in optimal performance mode. But do you schedule your hookups? You have to. I don't want to hear about that spontaneity shit. That's for young people. That's for broke people that ain't got no time. They got all the time in the world. They ain't got, they're not working. They're not focusing on their hookups, bro, on, on their purpose, okay? Don't play. Coach Justin. Salute, my G. I appreciate you for being here. Guys, please make sure you follow and subscribe to Coach Justin, Authentic. No, pardon me. Alpha Evolution. Pardon me. Pardon me, my G. Coach Justin, Alpha Evolution on YouTube and on Instagram. I appreciate you for being here, bro. We talking about scheduling your hookups. Do you schedule sex? If you're busy, you schedule sex. Now, if you're with the broad, she, you know, you had a great session. And she stays over. She's making your pancakes in the morning and shit. And she's, you know, her ass is looking great. You know, you get, you do one before the morning. That's fine. However, you got to make sure that you guys understand and allocate your energy and your time accordingly. So this leads into the topic, bro. Simp and serve. You guys are so busy trying to impress abroad so she can take pictures of her food, put you in the story. Show all the niggas she's trying to make jealous, all her family and friends about another dude that's simping for her, spending way too much money for her. And now you dudes, now you dudes are not getting anything. You just looking like a clown. Most of you dudes are pawns in this game, bro. How much do you spend on this broad? And why are you spending so much money on this broad fucking up the game? Fucking up the game, bro. You guys are leading with your wallet. RPA says, guy simping is for a main reason for the toxicity. Uh, pardon me. Guy simping is a main reason for the toxicity of the dating environment. That's a big fact, bro. <laughs> you dudes are messing up the game, my G. You guys are messing up the game. Anal night. Yeah, Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights. Anal night. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You got to get that enema, bro. You already know. That's a gift for you. I mean, you go to CVS. Go to Walgreens. Go to Dwayne Reed, wherever you're at in the world. You go, you take a picture of the anal night of, of, the, of the enemas. You clean out her system. And you you adhere to that. You give her a task. You say, listen, I like, I like, I get the, get the, and don't forget the enema. Don't forget the enema. Don't forget the condoms. And don't forget the Gatorade because you're going to need some electrolytes after I go in there, bro. Okay? Let's go. Iceberg says, I always schedule. Gives them time to clean themselves up. Fat, yo, that's a big one. <laughs> You dudes are not requiring your broads to clean up, 
to tape up. Yeah, they want you to tape your beard up. They want you to get a fresh tape. Bitch, I need you to tape up your vag, okay? I need you to tape up your vag. If you're not doing that, bro, you a sin. Bringing in the groceries. You keep bringing in the groceries. This bro's coming out here looking crazy. We got Bush. And she's expecting to get her back blown out. My G, listen, if we schedule in time, bro, you have enough opportunity to tape up your shit, to dush, whatever the hell you need to do to make sure it's brand new for me, okay? Let's go. Blackjack says, bro, I just opened mine up. Let's go. Coach Justin says, if in a relationship, if there is no variety week to week, it's going to get boring and predictable. That's a big fact, bro. That's a big fact. Don't you, bro, don't you, don't you guys know that bras feel the same way, bro? Again, I already told you what these bras are telling each other. Bitch, this isn't the A's. You need to catch a dick. No. Yeah. You need to catch a dick, bro. These bras want to get laid. However, in order for the entry and an opportunity to get laid with a bro who's probably got high mileage, who probably hasn't shaved, and, and don't remember the last time she took an enema. You got to feed her and spend money on her, bro. For what, bro? Now, if you want to go eat somewhere, let's say, for instance, it's Taco Tuesdays. Ain't no night, and it's Taco Tuesdays. But the broad is anemic. She needs some red meat. I bet. Let's go to steak. Let's get some steak. But because I want steak. See, simping is not you taking a, um, you know, taking a girl out, buying her something nice, you know what I mean? Or taking her out on a nice date experience. That's not being a simp. Being a simp, in my viewpoint, is doing things solely for an opportunity to appease her, to make her happy with no end result for yourself. So if the broad wants to go to Mr. Chow's and get the Mongolian ba um, beef meal with the broccoli and the spicy joint, running you up $200 and you're not getting laid, you're not even getting a kiss, my G. You're a sin. And you guys continue to fuck up the game. A lot of these dudes on yachts, not calling them simps. A lot of these dudes doing shit for TV. Sin, uh, yachts, views, all this shit. Spending money. They got money, though. They getting money. You're not getting money. And now you trying to live like those dudes. You fucking up the game for normal guys like us. The blue collar dudes, the guys who are in transition, who are blue collar trying to grind, trying to get to a position where they could go on a yacht, or they could get abroad. Who want to get swiped right? You guys keep thinking that if you take this broad out to a restaurant she's already been to numerous times, you in the running to get some sex. No, sir. You are a simp. Bringing in the groceries. You keep bringing in the groceries. You keep spending money on these broads. You can't do that, okay? Let's go. Coach Justice said the pill came, <laughs> the pill came, case came. Yeah, but I got milk thistle in here. Milk thistle for my liver. I got the L-arginine. That's for my heart on. The vitamin D, uh, vitamin E, and fish oil, my G. Every morning, bro. That's how you know. That's how I got this good skin, bro. So I got this energy. And Tuesday nights is anal nights. You already know, my G. RPA says simping a, simping a poor dating strategy, bro. It is. And you know, I got a lot of friends that are simps, bro. I already said this. I'm not. <laughs> I already said this. I got a lot of friends that are simps, bro. And they're happy. These simps are happy, bro. So you got to let them live, my G. If you happy, bro. That's why I always say, guys. Real talk. This is real shit. Like, does AV have game? Sure. I got game, right? I know how to speak, right? I, got, I, I look the part somewhat, right? What the fuck I'm saying? But. It doesn't mean that I'm better than you. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit here on the camera and say I'm better than all you dudes because what's the point of that? How is that helping you saying that I'm better than you? Okay? If you're a simp and life is working out for you, you're happy, your kids are happy, you have a wife, you're taking pictures with her, you're doing dumb shit, you're doing TikTok challenges, and you're happy, who am I to say that that's stupid if you're happy? I could sit here and call you a simp and be unhappy while me calling you a simp and you're happy. Who's stupid here? I'm stupid. What's the point of doing that, my G? So at the end of the day, bro, you got to do all this content. Yeah, it's entertaining and it's valuable. You got to take the best parts of what you're hearing and use it and apply it to a life that's unique, authentic, 
and that's going to make you happy. That's the end result, my G. Okay? You dudes are fucking up the game. Okay? RPA says, alpha villains. Women are attracted to simps? <sighs> that's a good question, RPA. Are women attracted to simps? That's a good question. That's a good show, too. It depends on the level of attraction, right? I think there's different ways or levels of attraction, right? You could have a physical attraction. There can be some emotional heartstrings that you're touching on. Like, so, for instance, post-war, right? We always talk about the wall is undefeated. These bros are old. They think they still got it, but they never had it. Most women think that they still got it, but they never had it, boo. Because you're still single. You're still in the same job. You're still in the same tax bracket. You still live in the same area, and you think you got it. You don't have it. Women are validating and giving themselves kudos and points based on the amount of dicks that they're receiving. So when a woman is post-war, right, she hit the wall, she's no longer as attractive, but she's still getting a lot of mileage on her vag. She could be attracted to somebody who doesn't necessarily look physically attractive when she was in her prime, but now she's attracted to a simp because he's doing everything that the guy that she was attracted to, the guy that she was not able to keep is doing. So now she's attracted to a simp. So yes, in my view, women can be attracted to simps because women can be attracted to a lifestyle that a simp can provide for her. Women are attracted to simps because they bring home the groceries. Bringing in the groceries, huh? They bring in the groceries. They pay for meals. They take their kids to Chuck E. Cheese. They throw, they lavish them with gifts. They do all the dumb shit that women like and women throw them a piece of ass and they think that they're winning. And this is why guys get finessed. Guys get finessed because they think that a woman is naturally attracted to him, but he's actually attracted to the lifestyle he's providing for her because he's a motherfucking simp, okay? Jesus Christ. I know. Anal and tacos a bad combo. I know that's why we got to go to the Dwayne Reed and CVS, my G. I mean, yeah, no doubt. You got that right, bro. RPA says, I feel bad for young men, and I have a lot of sympathy. They've lost sight of what it means to be masculine, and in many cases, it's not their fault. Bro, you already know. Alphavillains.com, www.alphavillains.com. No sympathy. No sympathy. On the back of the shirt, it says, it's your fault. I used to feel bad for men, bro. I used to feel bad for men, but in 2022, bro, all our forefathers, all the content that the content creators that are on my wall, the other guys that I haven't mentioned have provided for us, bro. For you guys to still have the same fucking problems that you had in 2018, 2017, I can't feel bad for you, bro. You deserve what you get. You simps are ruining the game, bro. You guys are ruining the game because you're not learning. And this is why guys get finessed. This is why guys get finessed because they don't want to learn. They want to go from broad to broad to think that she's going to be a snowflake, think she's going to be a unicorn, think that because they heard a show, they called into a show, that they're going to do something and they know something. You guys still don't know shit because you guys keep making the HNICs rich. You're not going to fall for the banana and the tailpipe? You guys act like you're not falling for the banana and the tailpipe, but you are. It is what it is, okay? Let's go. Iceberg says, AV, do you, do you take vitamin D and E with food because they're not, they're fat soluble vitamins? Nah, so chill, my G. Don't go half, don't go, <laughs> don't go ham on me, but vitamin E is good, right? You know, vitamin D, I take it, you know what I mean? Because of the sun, you know, if I'm if I'm working indoors and it helps with the with the beer bug and all that shit, but I take it on an empty stomach, right? So I wake what time is it? It's almost nine o'clock, so boom. My routine is, boom, I wake up, 4.50, 4.45, boom, taking about 15 minutes to get out of bed, boom, have some coffee, a piece of toast, right? A piece of toast with some peanut butter, boom, and shower, shave, clean up, duh, 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 prepare for the show. And then I'll take the vitamin, like, maybe around 10 o'clock, then I hit the gym, you know what I mean? So then, then, and then I'll try to do, like, a, 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 a remix of an intermittent fast, and I won't eat until maybe, like, 3.00. You know what I mean? So I kind of let that shit marinate in my blood, bro. So hopefully I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Hopefully I, you know what I mean? But yeah, can't take them by themselves. I know, I know. But like I said, I, I feel like since I'm older, my metabolism kind of runs a little slower. 
um, you know, the toast and the things that I eat, like the little snacks and shit, will will be will be okay. But that's a good tip, bro. I appreciate you. Coach Justin says most most men don't realize they are simps and they keep a woman happy. And this is why guys get finessed, bro. This is why guys get finessed. They don't even know that they're simps. But at the same time, Coach Justin, bro, who am I to say that you're a simp? Now. If I was a coach, right, I was mentoring men, right, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, and they asked me, yo, AV, AV, I can't get this broad, bro, I can't get laid, bro. Then I would probably tell you, say, you're a simp, sir. You're a simp, okay? And this is why you're not getting the broad. But you got to find out what's going to make you happy, bro. Bringing home the groceries should not just make you happy, bro. You bringing home the groceries to the broad, and you're not even eating the motherfucking groceries. What? What's happening here? I'm not here to tell you whether you are simp or not. I'm here to indicate and identify some traits that are simpish, okay? RPA says, when you understand the game, everything becomes so clear. All women are the same. The fact so many men can relate tells you a lot. Listen, bro. Are all women the same? Yes. However. Can you modify a woman's DNA in the sense of how she is built and how she's wired? Yes. It depends on her coachability. It depends on her femininity. It depends on how she views you. It depends if she wants to be cooperative. And, she, and it depends if she wants to play on your team. Men need to focus on what they are versus who they are. Okay? I had a conversation with my mother the other day, bro. Sunday service. I talk to my mother every other. I talk to my mother maybe tw once to twice a week. Peep game, bro. My mother, God bless her soul, bro. I love her to death. I used to be proud to call myself a mama's boy, bro. Mama's boy. It was back in the day. Maybe, maybe eight to ten years ago, I stopped doing that because I realized the detriment. Mama's boy. And you got to understand, bro. My mother is a woman. When I realized that calling myself a mama's boy wasn't necessarily the best thing, when you hear it, because most women like, oh, he's a mama's boy. He loves his mom. Yeah, I love my mother, but at the same time, she's a woman. My mother has done things that women in my life have done to me based on their DNA and wiring. Men need to focus on what they are, women, not who they are. The rules and the things that we that, that we talk about on this channel apply to all women so are all women the same yes they are however there are certain women who are more cooperative and see the value in you and respect you enough to want to alter her way of being and those are the women you need to focus on bro if i'm grinding they see me grind i'm investing in my equipment i'm investing in my message i'm investing in my merch my money's tight and the broad says, you know what? I'm going to take you out, A.V. I'm going to invest in you, A.V. Now, let's not go out to eat tonight, A.V. Just come over to the crib. It's Tuesday night. You already know. Already took the enema. Let's go. Those are people you have to work on, man. But women, for the most part, are all the same. Focus on what they are, not who they are. Okay? RPA says, if you love someone unconditionally, all you're doing is giving them a license to act abusive or cruel. Love is and should be conditional. And if they, the person you you love is cruel, then you need to leave. You need to ghost her ass, bro. Just let her go, bro. I already told you that. Let her go, okay? You guys don't understand, bro. You have to make sure that you have to love yourself first, bro. And if you allow a woman's ass and titties to dictate everything. And this is why guys get finessed. You will continue to get finessed, okay? RPA says, the consequences of simping for a woman, an empty bed. Bro, I love an empty bed, though, my G. King size bed, you know what I mean? Man, listen, bro. That's for her, though. That's for her. Yeah, yeah, empty bed for her. But they don't care. These bitches, listen, bro. Do you, okay? Coach Justin says, Iceberg, you mean genuinely placate to a woman's needs to the extent of his own detriment? Yes. Iceberg says vitamin A, D, K, E, and K are all fat soluble, so they need fat to, for proper absorption. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. So I got to take it with, with, a, with a, a meal. I bet. Appreciate you, Iceberg. 
vitamin A, D, E, and K are all fat soluble. So they need fat for proper absorption. So I'm looking out for you. I appreciate you, my G. I bet. I do it like when I have lunch. Like I said, I try to do like a remix of an intermittent fasting. So I eat like around two-ish, like a like a decent sized meal. So I'm gonna take it there, my G. I appreciate you. What's today? Yeah, because Wednesday's still full. <laughs> Wednesday's still full, so I didn't take it yet. I appreciate you, bro. I'm gonna look into that. RPA says, don't worry about women. Focus on your life. Pursue your dream job. Work out, sleep, eat well, and be happy. The women will be waiting for you once you get out there, once you get to where you want to be. Trust me. Yeah, man. But like I said, man, I don't want to create incels, bro. I ain't trying to promote MGTOW. Do what's best for you, man. Talk to her broad, bro. But don't let her take you off your purpose, bro. Don't take you off your purpose. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. You're not going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe? Fat asses, BBLs, and all that shit. Yo, listen, I'm in Miami, bro. I still look at these bros. I'm like, damn. I still look at these bros, even though I know they're toxic. I'm like, damn, I would love to put her ankles behind her neck. But what's the point? I got to stay focused, my G, okay? Blackjack says, if you let the boobies and booty define you, define your outcome, did that make the booby? Uh, hold on, B. Jesus. If you let the boobies and booty define your outcome, did that make you a booby butt? And this is why guys get finessed. You dudes are getting finessed out here because you allow broads to dictate how much money you're going to spend on a date. Listen, bro. Women out here telling each other to catch a dick. And I hear are going to finesse you if you allow them to. I'm not blaming no woman for finessing a dude. I don't feel sorry for none of you dudes that rock with me, that rock with the dudes on my wall, that listen to everybody that I see y'all super chatting, calling in, try to disguise your voice. We know it's you. My G, listen, bro. You either want to be helped or you want to be heard. You can't do both, my G. I appreciate everybody for being here. You already know. Guys, please like the video, bro. Support the grind. Cash App Alpha Villains, man. Tomorrow we're going to be back with another banger. Trying to make this show entertaining and educating at the same time. Keep grinding. Don't focus on women. Focus on your purpose and your grind, man. Everything will happen. I appreciate everybody for being here. Keep grinding. Enjoy your day. Peace.